Palestinian groups in Gaza have agreed in a joint statement to accept a ceasefire brokered by Egypt and the United Nations. However, they only agreed to halt the cross-border attacks that have intensified over the last 48 hours, if the Israeli forces do the same. Since the attacks began on Sunday, at least 14 Palestinians have been killed by Israeli airstrikes and at least one Israeli by Palestinian counterattacks. Meanwhile, hundreds of Palestinians have attended the funeral of one of those killed during Sunday's violence. 22-year-old Mohammed Uda was buried in the city of Beit Laia in the Gaza Strip. The fighting began when an, when an Israeli special operations team was discovered inside Gaza. They called in airstrikes to cover their retreat. One of the Israeli soldiers and a Hamas military commander were among the dead in the first round of violence. Palestinian fighters responded with a barrage of rockets fired into southern Israel. One Israeli man was killed when a residential building suffered a direct hit in the coastal town of Ashkelon. Hamas has threatened to extend its rocket fire to the towns of Beersheba and Ashot further inside Israel.